this video we will see how to use the action in the copilot studio we will we have we have already created one action we will see the demo with that so before i go to the demo this is the site which explains about the details on the actions and in the copilot studio how to use it so i'll share this link in my description box of this video and then you can refer from there so the actions of the copilot it will be automatically called or uh, based on the generative ai when we have enabled that feature preview feature if it is enabled then it will be automatically called if it is not enabled if it is in classic then we have to call this action explicitly within the topic so we have to call it from the topic so this is what i have done in my previous video so let me show you that so here in the last video i have created the this one of the topic where i have simple phrases and i'm asking the users to fill some data and this is my action i'm calling it here explicitly this is the cloud flow this is the flow design where i'm asking these four inputs to be passed and i'm creating the new contact into the dataverse and then i'm returning the contact id to the copilot so this contact id is returned so i'm calling this form explicitly why i'm calling it because in the setting of my copilot if you go to the generative ai i have selected the classic in the classic mode we have to call the uh, we have to call the actions within the topic so if the phrases are matched when the when user will ask something under that particular topic with that phrases it will call that action so it is like that so if you enable enable the generative ai which is a preview feature so the uh, calling these actions automatically will be decided by generative ai and in that actions if it has something to be asked by user then it will ask the user to prompt those values and then automatically it will perform the logic logic it's supposed to do so what i'm going to do is i will enable this feature into my copilot studio onto this my copilot which is nothing but dnlb i'll save it so on my copilot i have enabled this generative preview feature so that we have to enable it once it is done i can design that uh, uh, new topic so what i'm going to do i'll go to this create content and de de disable it so i'll make sure when i ask something related to that i want to make sure generative ai will pick up that particular actions automatically not by topic so I'll, that is why i'll disable it so i'll disable it and save okay so this the the topic which creates the contact where i will call this explicitly the flow to create the contact i have disabled it okay so now uh, when i ask i want to create a contact it will not create the contact through the topic so this changes i have done now here we have to go to the action here i do not have this action added so we need to add the action here so here when you add the actions it will show all the different types of popular uh, actions with the different uh, connectors custom connectors flow skills and library we have seen it right so when you add this any actions it will be one of the core type which is what pre-built co pre connector actions custom connected actions per automate flow ai builder prompts and the skills so same thing we have this different actions here if we have created the uh, actions on one of it then it will show here so under this all i have this create con create a contact data first this is the uh, flow type action so i'm going to select it and add it has a four parameter we'll add it this is the name details just finish it so it will add add this uh, flow into the action list here so it will take some time we'll wait for it So now this action has been added so uh, when i'll ask related to that like i want to create a contact in dataverse then automatically it should pick up because in the setting here of the generative ai we have enabled the preview feature okay and then that this small changes we need to do so what i'll do i'll go to the my conversation start i'll make sure i do not have any other thing okay nothing 
I'll restart it. Now you can see automatically they're giving this message. Now I want to add, I will just uh, type a query. I want to add a contact in database. Okay, now you can see as soon as I have asked it uh, this question, so it has uh, it has uh, it has picked up this action automatically, and uh, it is inside this action. Um, it is asking uh, the if we are having the input parameters, right? So it has it is having the mobile number, email, last name, and first name. So now in the interface, it is asking me to provide that one. So I'm going to give this data. So suppose it is the mobile number which I have is something like this. Okay, I have provided the mobile number. Then I have the last name also as a one of the input parameter here, right? So this this is this question is is being asked by the generative AI to so that it will uh, it will acquire the all the required information from the user input. And once the information is sufficient, then automatically this action will be performing that create operation. So here I will provide the last name. It is Rombo. Okay, it is asking first name, so it is John and email address, so it is so all those four input parameters which I I need to pass here. It it was asked by generative AI automatically. Now in the background, it is performing the create operation. And once it is created, now it will display the message that your contact has been created with this detail. And this details is coming automatically from the generative AI. So it is responding by that. So if I go to my contact list here, I refresh this grid. Now you can see John Rumbo contact is just now created. And it has the same details which we have provided. Yeah, this email ID and the contact mobile number, the email, it has the same details. So like that, the generative AI can, AI can automatically decide which actions to be created. And if it needs any input to be asked from user, it will do that one. So like that, we can add multiple actions here. So it will extend the the capability of the copilot and it will make the user interface more relevant here this is where it will help up so i hope you understood it how to do that change configurations and i hope this video was useful to you guys thank you for watching this video